this is the finishing product I got here two nice juicy beautiful seasoned pork chops and you're gonna love it trust me so do my recipe and I got here some white rice I got here the pork and beans I got here some lettuce. I didn't put no salad dressing yet, but I'm gonna put in salad dressing in a minute. <laughs> I just wanted to show it to you guys. I got here some corn and some avocado. And this is the whole plate. Now tell me, if they was to serve this to you, you won't eat it. I know you would eat it, trust me. So I guess this is it and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. It was simple to make, you know. Um, a lot of people got many ways of cooking pork chops. I know a lot of ways to cook pork chops. But I just wanted to show you something, you know, more Puerto Rican. And, you know, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. My friend brought me food from his job. A burger. Chicken. I don't know. They had a barbecue, so he brought me some food. This is pork. Pasta. Yummy. I can't wait to taste the pasta. And this is the food that I will be eating today for dinner. Hey everyone, I hope everyone is okay. Um, I have here some yuca with bacalao. Um, that's cassava with codfish. And I also have here some yellow rice. My And I also have some yellow rice. Um, my mother had brought this from New York. My son went to New York. And he came back from New York and my mother made me some food. Yay! I love when my mother makes me some food. I haven't had my mother's cooking in so long. Oh, she is such a great cook. So this is what I had. That's dinner today. And I'm going to order Chinese food for the kids. So that's my dinner. Me and my boyfriend and the kids are going to have Chinese food. Hello everyone. I hope everyone is enjoying their day. This is dinner today. I made some codfish in some nice red sauce. It's really, really good. Um, I do got a recipe on this on my channel, so browse around and you'll find it. Um, with some white rice, fried plantains, fried eggs, and some avocado. This is the perfect combination with this nice codfish in sauce. Alright, um, this is very delicious. The codfish in, in red salt, mmm, it goes perfectly with your white rice. So I wanted to show you dinner today, and I just hope that everyone is enjoying their day. See you next time. Bye. This is my chicken hibarito sandwich. Just want to show it to you. And I will be comparing this with some yellow rice and some... What is it? Potato salad. <laughs> and yes, I did a video on this, so be on the lookout for that on my channel. And this is the dish. Yellow rice, potato salad, and my delicious chicken hibarito sandwich. And I did a tutorial on that, by the way. I'm also going to show you another dish because this was, I only made this for me and my boyfriend and my kids. I made them something else, which I will show you that next. Okay, and this is the second plate that I was telling you about, the chicken stew that I showed you earlier. This is it right here. My boyfriend said it tastes so good. It's tender and it's really, really yummy with the yellow rice and um, potato salad. The corn is good, really good, because it's been infused in that sauce. Oh, you don't know. So, I guess that's it. I hope that you enjoyed um, this video. And I hope you make my hibarito sandwich, because it's well worth it. And that's it. Take care. Bye. Hey, everyone. I hope everyone is okay. We're about to have some coffee with some nice Louisiana crunch cake. Mmm, I love Louisiana crunch cake. So here you go. 
That is delicious right there. Add some coffee, of course. Because you can't have Louisiana crunch cake without no coffee. Uh-uh. No way, no how. No way. So I just wanted to show it to you guys. Make y'all hungry. Make y'all want to run to the store and buy one of those cakes. <laughs> All right, take care. This is today's dinner, Dominican style beans, white rice, salad, fried chicken cutlets. That's it. That's dinner today. Yum. And look at those beautiful beans. And yes, I did a tutorial on it. <laughs> Bye. Hey everyone. Right now I'm making some breakfast. Um, I'm making Dominican breakfast right now. I'm a little half tired, but I still got to do what I got to do. So I'm trying to put these bacon in the oven. So, and the only one that's gonna eat this is me, my older son, and my boyfriend. Um, the other kids are eating something else. They don't eat stuff like this. Breakfast anyway, like this. So it's three. I'm estimating three bacon per person. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the oven right now. And then I'm gonna start cutting my Platanos next, my plantains. Oops, my plantains next. So I'm gonna cut these plantains. I'm gonna cut three. Ugh, so tired. I like to cut them in three different spots. And then dip, put it in water, in hot water. About that much water and add salt but not too much okay that's good and let's see if this works And we're going to cook these for at least 25 minutes. And I'm going to also cut my cheese and cut, what up? Yeah, I'm going to cut my cheese. I'll show you that next. Now, while we wait for everything to be, you know, for the bacon to cook in the oven, 
and my bananas to get soft. I'm just gonna prep. I'm gonna cut some of this cheese. This cheese you could fry and it tastes so, so good. Traditionally, you're supposed to flour them when you when you cook them, you know? But I'm not adding no, no flour or none of that. I'm just gonna fry them. I am hungry, <laughs> so I'm not gonna like sit here and just pat it with flour and all that other stuff. I mean, you could do it like this if you want. It's, you know, and it's really, really good. Remember, you have to get this cheese. Queso de friar. Alright? And it's really saying um, cheese to fry, okay? A white, a fresh white cheese for frying, okay? And you need this one, alright? To fry your cheese. Okay, come on. I don't know why it's not opening up my package. I'm cutting it right. There you go. Okay. Maybe it's me that I'm tired, but everything is fighting me today. Every other day I got everything. Today everything is messing with me. I'm taking the whole thing. Want some nice fat slices. Well, at least I do. So how many we have? Three, six, nine, twelve. I'm gonna fry all of them. It'll be four pieces per person. I thought I would save some in the zip lock bag. So we did that. Let me put this in the plate. There you go. Well, what else is there to do? We can't fry the cheese now because it'll be too early. Um, we can't fry the egg because it'll be too early. And we can't fry the onions because it's too early. So I'll just be back. I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. That's what I need. Um, I'll be back. And as you can see, bacon is nice, done. Oh, you got to smell the aroma in my house. Whew, the coffee didn't wake me up. This sucker did. This woke me up. <laughs> and the bacon. And um, I'm going to put it to the side. It's very, very hot. Okay, so I'm sorry. The camera um, from my... My camera, my regular camera, died, 
so I didn't get to record this part. Um, I think maybe another 10 more minutes and we'll be able to to mash this. It just sucks because I wanted to show it to you guys and I can't do it recording with one hand. So I'm just going to have to show you everything afterwards. You know, and that's the bacon. Look at how nice it looks with this camera. This is the iPhone camera. My other phone, my other camera sucks. <laughs> and that I'm going to use to fry my cheese. So, um, I don't know, I think I should start doing the cheese now. I'll show you that next. No, 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 don't do the dishes. I got it. Okay. Alright. Um, so we're here frying our cheese. Look at how beautiful they look. And I told you you could fry these cheese. Um, so what we're going to do right now is, this is ready to mash. I got my butter there. Um, we also have this cup here for that way I could reserve some of that juice for I can mash. Um, I do have a, like a full tutorial on how to make this on my channel, like step to step, and you really need to check it for that way you could really know, you know, what I'm gonna do next. Um, so let me do it. And I'll show you how it looks nicely mashed next. So I'm frying the rest of my cheese. After that, I'm going to do my onions. And the mango is right here. And oh my God, let me explain to y'all how delicious this tastes. Mmm. Perfect. Oh my God, you can taste the butter. You could taste a little bit of salt, the plantain. Oh my goodness, Lord. That is really a good dish. So I'm going to take these out, put the onions. I'll show you that. And and we're going to fry the eggs. So we got the eggs frying. And we have our onions. And our cheese, our bacon. Our delicious mango. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give my son first. My boyfriend went to the store real quick, so I can't give him first. Um, so when he comes back, then he gets served like a king, and then I get served last like always. <laughs> so when the plate, when everything is ready to be done, the plate, I'll show it to you. So here is the breakfast that I just made right now. There is a tutorial on this dish right here. The only thing is that I have fried salami. I don't have bacon. But it's the same thing. You could substitute with, you know, fried, um, you could, you could use salami or you could use bacon. I chose bacon this time. So this is the dish, but you, you can make this whole dish. I got a, I got a video on my channel how to make this delicious Dominican dish, all right? And this is typical in the Dominican Republic. They eat this for breakfast or for lunch, which I'm eating it for lunch because I skip breakfast. Um, and it's mango, huevo, which is eggs, cebolla, which is onions, um, queso, um, queso blanco, which is fried cheese, and nice bacon and i got my little coffee right there of course usually they will eat this with lemonade though <laughs> all right so um this is it all right for you can see how i did it and i really really hope that you look for this i'm gonna see if i can link it below if you want to know how to make this it's so good i'm telling you it is good and you know what it's easy to make you know it's not as hard as people think a dish like this will normally cost maybe $15 in a Spanish restaurant. Why pay that much when you can make it in your, in your house? All right. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Take care. God bless. And, um, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say something and I forgot. But, take care. God bless. <laughs>
everyone. I am making coffee for my son. Me and my son is going to have coffee. And we're going to eat this delicious pound cake. Yum. I love pound cake with coffee. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so delicious. What a great combination, I tell you. So I just wanted to show it to you. Maybe you'll have a little craving for it tomorrow morning. <laughs> All right, take care. Everyone, I hope everyone is doing okay. I am here doing some food prepping because my friends are coming tomorrow. So I want to make it extra special for her and her husband and her family because every time we go to her house, I don't, let's put it like this, I don't have to get up. I sit down all day. When I try to get up and at least attempt to wash the dishes, do a little bit of my part, she does not let me. She'd be like, no, 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 no. You're my guest, you're sitting down. <laughs> so, and I do the same for her as well. We both do it for each other. So every time she comes, I do it big because she doesn't come as often. She probably comes Mm. maybe once a month or once every two months so now she's really really busy before we used to chill a lot like a, a little bit more but now it's like lately she's got school she's about to start a new job so I understand you know like I can't you know I, I do understand like she, she's busier now but she always keeps in touch with me always texting me and stuff so I'm making some stuffed shells now I don't think I got stuffed shells in my channel I have lasagna um y'all have seen me do lasagna so many times when it's like a gathering or something a lot of people have to ask for the lasagna recipe and I always say no because you know I sell lasagna here and I don't want nobody to know the secret of how I make my lasagna because if not I won't make no money <laughs> Um, so, but this is the first. I think I don't have no stuffed shell recipe. So I am going to show you how I make it and all that other stuff. But you know I'm not going to give you the recipe to that either. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I'm making stuffed shells, um, crab salad. But I'm making my crab salad a little different. I'm doing it with mayonnaise this time instead of the oil and the vinegar. I do got a recipe on that on my channel. But it's more healthier. <laughs> it doesn't have mayonnaise. Um, I'm doing that. And um, I'm doing white rice, beans, and sweet chicken. Um, like a sweet and sourish kind of chicken. And stuff. It's better baked because I don't want to be like frying so much meat. Um, she has a big family. So, you know. So this is what I have here so far. I got the meat for the stuffed shells. I got the stuffed shells here, which one is flowing. I don't know why. Um, and let me see something. Um, I gotta move this around, you know. I'm trying to make at least two trays of this and two trays of chicken. One tray of crab salad. And I'm going to make the rice and beans tomorrow because that's easy to make. I could make it in 45 minutes. Um, I am making a lot of beans tomorrow. I'm making two cans. She likes pinto beans, so that's what I'm going to make for her. And she's going to bring um, like snacks and stuff, you know, because she loves her coffee. But I'm not drinking no coffee. I'm, I'm going to drink some wine tomorrow because it's Saturday. But just want to show you. And I will show you how, um, I don't know if I'm going to show you how I assemble it, but I'm going to show you how it looks next. So I have here my chicken and I incorporated some brown sugar and made like a little mixture and, you know, drizzled it on top of the chicken. Um, and the reason why it looks so pretty with those little lines is because... I use this <laughs> so don't be like wow it looks so pretty <laughs> um, when I was brushing it, it ended up coming out like that with those little lines Let me put it clear clear so that's why but I'm um, sorry if you hear a lot of noise I got my porch open while I'm cooking you know I need the air you know and 
today for some reason every Friday there's always a lot of like motorcyclists um, like in a club you know a block away from me so and it's always like something that happens every Friday so you're gonna be hearing a lot of noise but yeah this is brown sugar chicken I'm gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator all I have to do is put it in the oven tomorrow and I'm gonna do my let me see what I'm gonna do next my stuffed shells next okay so here is my stuffed shells and it did took a lot of work you know because you gotta stuff these little suckers <laughs> one by one by one but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add the mozzarella cheese and I got some parmesan cheese and I'm gonna add some fresh parsley on top just wanted to show it to you because once we add the cheese and stuff you're not gonna be able to see the stuffed shells you're not gonna be able to see it like that is what I'm trying to say because everything is gonna be covered so we'll be back okay so here is my um, stuffed shells you're not gonna be able to see the shells into everything like be in the oven and melts but you can see a little bit of it and I added parmesan cheese mozzarella fresh parsley sorry for like all the noise I got my porch door open and I even added some bacon bits I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me see. Let me see. There goes that nice, beautiful bacon. All right. And it's with real bacon. I do not do fake bacon in a jar. <laughs> Sorry. No offense to nobody. But I just can't. It just doesn't taste the same to me. I'd rather do my own bacon in the oven. Um, cut it up with a knife and sprinkle away. You know, I can't. But this is it. And I just can't wait till like this melts for you to see tomorrow, you know. My nice beautiful stuffed shells. So what I gotta do next? I gotta do the um the crab salad next. But that's easy. All I gotta do is cut, add everything, and you know. And that's about it. Then tomorrow I'll do the rice and beans and put everything in the oven. So this is it and let's do the crab salad next. My crab salad that I made. Yummy yummy. Mm. And all I'm gonna do is put this in the refrigerator tomorrow. It'll be nice and more delicious. <laughs> And that's it. That's all I have to do for prepping. Until tomorrow. So I have here beans. And these are pinto beans. And this is almost done. But I turned it off. I'm going to continue cooking it. When they're on their way over here. And this is a pot of water. I'm about to make my white rice. Um, the chicken is in the oven. And, yep, that's it. So I'm going to do my white rice and finish the chicken and the stuffed shops. I'm sorry, Nana. Give me a minute. And crab salad. Stuffed shells. With bacon and chicken. Yummy. I got my guests here, so I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Um, anybody got this, 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 this? Take a 10. What is that? 10? Oh, I don't need to. 10, ten Justin? No. Mm -hmm. What you got? Oh my gosh, she's leaning over to look at my cards. What a cheater! What a cheater! 
Oh my god. I can't play with her. I don't have beds. What is that? Oh my god. Go ahead, Justin. Come on. Give me out. Give me out. Give me out. Oh, she give me out. Come on, Justin. You out. You out. You out. Come on, Justin. You got to throw one out. You got to throw one out. Please. King. Five, 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 five. I need it. I, I need, need it. it. No, he it. it first. Well, Fuck that. Mean. You ain't winning. No, I'm a broke nigga. That shit will go to $25. Nobody be sad. Tito got six. Come on, Elby. Come on. Seven. No, no. Wait, seven. Wait, wait, wait. Seven. Nobody needs it. Do you need it? Yes. Come on, Ernie. Hit me up good. Yes, I'll take it. And I won. my late dinner since I was prepping all day tilapia fish grilled with some nice cauliflower and broccoli something nice and hearty and healthy I'm in my desk that's why the lighting sucks here so it's gonna be a little dark and I decided to go for Captain Crunch instead I don't know I love Captain Crunch cereal and my favorite one is the peanut butter one okay Oh my goodness, you give me the peanut butter one? Oh my goodness, I'm going to eat the whole box. So I'm here. These are the newest magazines that I've gotten so far. This I got today. I got one mistake, which I never remember even ordering that as well. Maybe they're just giving me a, a magazine or two to see if I want to order. Um, I got here, All You, I love this magazine. It's one of my favorites. I always order this every year. I also have Cooking Night. I really love this magazine as well. It has a lot of recipes, but you know, um, kind of diet or healthy kind of like. So I really like this as well. And I got my Full Network magazine, which you know I love. <laughs> and these are my magazines. I have them here on my desk. Well, I could remember to, you know, when I'm bored or I don't have nothing to do to read them. Browse through some recipes. I swear, I wish I could make recipes every day in my channel but my supermarket is far and I, I don't you know by the time I go for shopping I'm finding things that I need for the house you know instead of something for like a recipe so it it kind of sucks you know I'm hoping to get a car like god like please I need a car and I got my Erin Condren um book here I gotta look through it see what's gonna happen next week we're way ahead this is this yeah I gotta do this week this is this week. See, I go to St. Mary's. I already did that. I already did that yesterday. Um, and I have to do honey chicken wings for my son. Because, well, I'll do another video on that another time. Um, and stuff. But, and these are all the little stuff that I have to do for next month. Usually when I, when I have something to do for next month, I'll just write it real quickly and just stick it for September. And then I'll organize it you know rewrite everything nice and neat for the september so these are all the things i gotta do for september different appointments and everything so meet me my cereal before it gets mushy <laughs> see you guys later and here are my wings i got some nice buttery parmesan wings and i also have some sweet wings this is the sweet one this is the parmesan one and we're gonna eat this with mashed potatoes Hello everyone, I hope everyone is enjoying their day. Um, today I made mashed potatoes with corn, um, with butter and cheese on top. These are some buttery parmesan wings. One day I'll do a tutorial on that. And these are some nice honey wings that I made. This plate I made it for my son. That was his request. He loves when I make some wings. <laughs> it's his favorite when I make it. And yep. So I'm going to eat dinner and I hope everyone is enjoying their day. Take care. God bless.
right, and this is dessert right here. Nice cherry pie. And don't you see that oozing with some filling? Oh my goodness. I love cherry pie and I haven't had it in a long time. And my boyfriend got it for me today. He loves me. And we're about to eat this. Yay. Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is enjoying their day. This is today's dinner. I made here a nice macaroni salad with bacon, carrots, peas. And then I have here nice corn and some nice grilled salmon. Okay, so this is dinner. I hope everyone is enjoying their day. Take care. Bye. Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing okay. Today I decided to make some dinner. I haven't been cooking lately, but today I was like, let me make something simple. So I have here some white rice, corned beef. Some french fries. By the way, those bags are, the french fries are from a bag. I didn't, you know, peel it or nothing like that. I don't get no credit for that. And my salad. With Italian dressing, by the way. So let me just show you a good looking look. Nice corned beef. I do have a recipe on my corned beef in my channel. So check, you know, check it out. It's very good. Fries. And my yummy, yummy salad. So I guess that's it. I see you in the next video. I don't know when I'm going to cook. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. I don't know. Um, I've just been going along with whatever day it is. Like, if I'm in the mood to cook today, I'll cook today. If I don't want to cook today, I just won't cook today. And I'll make something very simple. So I hope everyone is enjoying their week. Take care. Goodbye. Right now, what we're doing, we're eating. What is that, Nanny? Pepperoni grinder. A what? Pepperoni sandwich. A pepperoni sandwich. That's the way we call it. Here. And sodas. And this is a piece of cheesecake, which I took a slight a bite, and it was delicious. And some pizza with bacon and broccoli. So this is dinner today. And this is our breakfast, me and my boyfriend. We decided to buy some McDonald's. The kids are in school. We got coffee and stuff. We're in our bed, oh my God. But today I'm gonna wash these sheets today, so we're not worried about it. But yep, this is our breakfast and I can't wait to eat it, yay. Now we're about to eat tacos. And I have some here, more in the box. And this is what it comes with. Yummy, yummy. My son forgot to order the, what is it called? The sour cream, but it's okay. But this is what we're eating for dinner today. My kids are about to eat some corn dogs. No! You can't eat it in one shot. I'm not. I'm just putting all my stuff to the side. All right. I'm just letting you know. Um. So we're gonna make these corn dogs for the kids for dinner today. Black power. Um. And and that's it. I'll show you how they look like when they're done. So they're eating corn dogs now. They're gonna eat two for now, and if they want more, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I like I like um um syrup with my corn dog. Well, go. What about the other kids? They want awesome. them. I do. Let me see that. I do. You're not gonna share some. And I don't know if that's like a trend, but I don't know. I like it. Somebody My son on to I mean, is like that using it with pancake syrup. I don't know. You let me know, guys. Do you that's do this? Because <laughs> that's a first for me. So. Yeah. That's what they're eating. They're going to start off with two. And if they want more, then I'll make more for them. 